Hi team, so today we're going to look at how to make changes to the layout of work item types in Azure DevOps boards. So a question I'm often being asked is what kind of information do you store on a user story? What kind of information do you capture? So be able to be able to respond to this question, I'll show you how I tweak my user story layout in Azure DevOps boards and what kind of information I typically capture on my projects. So when you log into Azure DevOps boards and you start a new project, you get presented with the four system processes, Agile, Basic, CMMI, and Scrum, and you cannot tweak or uh, change those processes, right? To make changes to a process like adding fields um, or changing the layout of user stories screens, you will need to create a custom process, right? So, and to do so, you have to go to organizational settings and then processes and then pick again one of the four processes one of the four system processes and under one of the four i have some disabled custom processes here but i'll have to go and then create a new inherited process so let's create agile biz apps for example process which is a custom process so once you open your inherited process, you can go here and make changes to your work item tabs. And in this case, we want to tweak the user story, right? So what you can do here is change the layout of the fields you want to capture for your user story. So what I usually do is I leave the description, I leave the acceptance criteria, but I create a new field called design or design ideas. I make it a multi-line field, and this is where we're going to capture any design ideas, any design consideration while we're discussing the uh, user story with our stakeholders. We can capture some of those ideas there of effectively how we're going to solution that user story. Another field that I like to capture is a field for to store a URL to, and I'll show you that in a minute, a URL where that will point to a SharePoint folder, for example. So once I've made all the changes to my layout of my user story, let me show you how a typical user story would look like. So I now have the layout of my user story ready. So I would have a short title of my user story. I uh, use, of course, the ownership field or the, the assigned to field. I have a state where I have tweaked the state of my user story. I also have a description for the user story where I use the other user I want to achieve an action, uh, do something or achieve an action. So that which is the why of the that user story, um, what kind of benefits would I get from using that user story acceptance criteria. So here I use the formatting of given when then and I might have a series of scenarios, a few scenarios to describe my acceptance criteria. That design field that I've added, I would have here design or design ideas where I can capture effectively how we're going to solution this user story. So any ideas that we have while we're discussing the user story, you can capture it here. Um, that URL or that documentation, URL documentation field is effectively a SharePoint folder. So if I click on that, folder it will effectively open in another tab and I can store additional documents here drag and drop documents that can then refer I can then refer to those documents in my discussion or in uh, additional places of the user story I can of course use my discussion sections to go back and forth with other stakeholders um, story point to estimate the um, complexity and the dev effort for delivering that user story, the priority of the user story, kind of an ownership sections, whether, uh, especially if you work with bigger teams and you have, you need a product owner to approve the user stories I like to have accepted by, or when the user story is uh, being raised by different stakeholders, you might have a field called raised by. So basically interactions with other key stakeholders that I need to capture some information about the user story. And I like to have, of course, my related work. So capturing the parent, so that would be the feature of the user, the, the parent feature of the user story and any other related user stories 
um, to this one you can also add existing if you work with tasks you can ex create additional tasks which would be your child um, related work item task to your user story voila i hope that you liked this video and if that's the case give me a thumbs up it really helps me understand if you like those kind of videos or not and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel i'll be doing more video about azure DevOps boards and so forth going forward see you